Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about success. Preparing for success, what to expect when you reach a level of success. Before I do so guys, I want you to hang around to the end of this video to find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. So, let's talk about success. When you reach a level of success in muscle building or powerlifting, a few things are going to happen that you need to be prepared for. The first thing is a big one. People are going to start um, taking their expectations and placing them on you. They're going to start taking their opinions of what you should do or what you should become onto you because they're seeing you as successful and they might want to see you... Uh, reach another level of success or because you're successful go this way or go that way or do this or do that everyone will have not everyone but a lot of guys will have an opinion on what you should do with your life and with your success and with your lifting for example I am a power lifter now I wasn't always a power lifter but I kind of crept over in that realm during the last two years I was borderline for a while I I love the muscle building you know uh, uh, a lot but I kind of slowly transformed into strict power lifting and I reached um, you know a decent level of success I uh, my bench press you know approached 400 and my um, my squats are around 650 raw right now. My deadlift, uh, I've done a 700 by 2 off 3 inch blocks. And anyway, I've reached an okay level of success for a 45 year old man. One thing I wasn't prepared for, and I should have been prepared for, is the fact that I would receive a lot of pressure from other lifters. And they mean well. And uh, I love these guys to death, but you will receive a lot of pressure from them. They see you as oh, now you're going to reach an 800-pound deadlift. Now you're going to, you have a chance to be the best at all time at the age of 45. Or now you can reach a 2,000-pound total. And sometimes you start pulling in all these different opinions and all these different goals, and you attach yourself to them. And at the end of the day, guys, you got to look in the mirror and make sure that the goals you set are really your goals and not someone else's goals for you. It's easy to get those things mixed up when you reach a level of success. So, guys, just uh, just be prepared for that. It doesn't matter if you're powerlifting or bodybuilding. It's going to happen. People are going to start seeing that next step for you, and they're going to want you to reach out for the reach out and achieve that next step um you know and that's a picture they have in your mind it's not a goal you have in you know you've set for yourself so just be careful with that another thing you have to expect when you reach a level of success is that people are going to hate on you. People are going to hate. Look, you're a unique individual, a unique human being. You have flaws, you have imperfections. And some people just aren't going to like you. They're not going to like the way you look. They're not going to like the white stripes in your beard. They're not going to, you know, like that you carry 2% more body fat than they think is optimal. They have a billion reasons not to like you. And, you know, once you reach a level of success, you're going to reach, you're going to, you're going to get hate. Guys, be prepared for that. Ignore the hate. Ignore it. Listen to these words. Ignore the hate. Don't even read the hater comments. Don't get involved with responding to hater comments. It's not worth your time. You have two choices in life, kids. Two choices. Invest your time in building something positive. Invest your time in confronting the negative. For those negative people in your life, you need to you need to ignore the hate. You need to ignore the hate and keep doing what you do. Haters can go screw themselves, and you can quote me on that. If you spend your time in the hate realm, kids, then you are, you are pulling your time away from the positive realm, which could be used to help other people, other lifters who really want to change. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, check out the link below. It's to my Q&A. You can go there. It's a hater-free, troll-free, e-stats-free, bro-free forum. That is my Q&A. You can post a question. I'll help you the best I can. I promise. Book it. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.